Well, new on 7 Forest Service leaders are resuming fuel wood permit sales in several New Mexico counties with modifications. This comes after a court order stopped the release of permits due to environmental concerns. Governor Michelle Luan Grisham says she is grateful for their quick response from the court. But the suspension of other timber management activities continues. Action 7 News anchor Shelby Cashman is live at a sow mill where the owner said this could be catastrophic for his business. Good evening, Doug. Well, here at Mount Taylor Manufacturing, this huge pile of wood chips is soon going to be headed out to Albuquerque Public Schools and some parks around the city of Albuquerque. But as that battle continues in the courts between an environmental group and the Forest Service, this pile of chips could soon be completely gone with nothing left to replace it. We sell mountains of this during the winter time. But Matt Allen of Mount Taylor Manufacturing worries that won't happen this year as a lawsuit filed by the environmental group Wild Earth Guardians remains tied up in federal court. If this injunction is not changed to allow us to go into areas and harvest, it's going to shut down our sawmill. Wild Earth Guardians alleges the Forest Service was not properly protecting the Mexican spotted owl population in five New Mexico forests and one in Arizona. They filed an injunction which shut down timber sales, thinning projects and prescribed burns while they await a judge's ruling. For Mount Taylor Manufacturing, this could mean the loss of not only business, but jobs at their plants across the state. Most of our crew is Navajo. Uh, the unemployment rate on the Navajo reservation is about 42 percent. Allen says the trees they harvest help prevent catastrophic forest fires, and the way they cut does not affect the owls. The trees we harvest are, are primarily, they're, they're small size, they're low quality trees, they're, they're overcrowded, they're drought ridden. He says there is enough lumber already cut to stay afloat for another few months, but if the judge's ruling takes any longer, it could hurt not only his business, but our environment. Our forests are at risk, our watersheds are at risk, our employees' jobs are at risk. We did reach out to Wild Earth Guardians and they did send us a statement. I want to pull that up on your screen for you here. In part, it says the injunction is the inevitable and the foreseeable result of the Forest Service's stubbornness to fund and implement its own management plan. Live here in the South Valley, Shelby Cashman, KOAT Action 7 News. The collection and cutting of personal firewood will resume immediately. We'll new